been treatment that last few days. Um, had a few x-rays um, yesterday, I'm cleared. But um, I have a bruise, bruise um, right butt cheek right now. So uh, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get that in and get that out of the way. But um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a lot better right now, but still um, struggling to you know, get my full speed back. So my main focus right now is just getting, getting better. The looks on your face when you went down, you looked like you were dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got the wind knocked on me. I never felt that hard before, so uh, I was pretty I was pretty scared. And um, I couldn't breathe at the time, but um, that's probably why. I was, was it your teal tailbone? Yeah, it was yeah. my tailbone. Did it hurt so. to sit? No, no, no. It's just bruised a little bit, so it's just hard for me to come down the ground. I mean, I thought before. What was it feeling like when you came back on the floor and, uh, you know, just to see that ovation from that crowd? Oh, it means a lot, you know. Um, <clears throat> Uh, just the uh, love and support that these these fans give me, and um, just to know that they, you know, that their prayers are for me, you know, making sure I'm all right and, and know I'm safe. How good was it to close that first half like that and kind of let everybody see exactly what the system looks like when it's working? Oh, it felt great. You know, we went in the locker room with a lot of energy. We was ready to get back out there and play. Um, that's just that's that's who we are. You know, that first half is unbelievable. Um, we know we know what we can control now. You know, we're still trying to figure out how to. How to put two halves together. Obviously, we're really struggling in the second half, so right now our main focus is just putting 40 minutes together and trying to win. What's it going to take to do that for you guys? Uh, just staying focused, you know, um, little things in the locker room, you know, you know, goofing around, you know, probably. Uh, but um, we're trying to figure it out still, you know, but um, I mean, my main thing is just, you know, being more vocal, you know, keeping the guys in tune and staying focused when we, when we go into halftime. When you guys come out of the locker room for second halves and other teams make their adjustments, is that part of the challenge of Staying in your game? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, obviously me getting hot in the first half, but um, teams are going to make adjustments. Um, teams are going to go on runs, but, uh, you know, it's, it's our jobs, you know, just stay, stay, um, stay posed and, you know, try to try to um, play defense and defend. And, you know, we had a lot of stops going, but we just couldn't put the ball in the, in the hoop right now. And I think that's one of the bad, the great things we are right we're going right now. We're playing unbelievable defense. The ball just isn't dropping right now. So once those start falling, we're going to be incredible. What do you remember about UNLV from last year, and what do you expect from them tomorrow? I'm um, fast paced, you know. Um, they're very athletic. They have a lot of big guys. Um, we watched film earlier. They're a young, young team, you know. So we're going to pressure the guards. You know, we're going to we're going to be in them tonight, um, on tomorrow, and we're, we're looking forward to just trying to get our first first win. Is, is it hard to be two and seven? I'm sure a month ago you didn't think you'd be two and seven. Is it is it a reality check? Is it hard? Is it uh, confidence lagging at all? Um, I think we're great right now. You know, we could we could easily be you know six and one right now, seven and one. Um, <laughs> but you know, um, you know we got the, one of the hardest schedules in the country. Um, I, I like what coach did. We got a lot of young guys, so you know, just preparing us early in the season for later on in the season is gonna it's gonna make help us. And you know, um, I think we're getting a lot better as a team, and we're, we're we're trying to get over that hump right now. And I think it's gonna come for us soon. It sounded like before that Ohio State game, they wanted to get you going earlier on. Was, was that a concerted effort for you to, to get going early? And, and what's it do when you kind of things start falling in the first half? For you? Yeah, um, last uh, the two two games before, you know, I, um, I didn't think I was aggressive enough. You know, um, I didn't think I was um, shooting the ball enough. You know, um, I was defending. You know, playing, doing other things, but I didn't think I was, you know, um, doing what I do best. You know, and that's scoring. So I came out with a with a mindset to just be aggressive, get their guards in foul trouble, you know, get to the free throw line more, and just you know, just just be aggressive early so I can get my teammates involved with when when other when the other team is collapsing on me and I can you know kick out and, and pass it to my other teammates. It must be hard to to balance between getting other guys involved and shooting enough yourself. You don't want to be like a ball hog. You want to distribute, and then you do that, and people say you don't shoot enough. Um, no, nah, um, the coaches and my teammates, they trust me, you know, um, they know, they know whether, what, what shots I take are, are good shots and what, what shots are bad, you know, um, and that's for me, you know, being a second, a second year, um, leader, you know, um, I know what a good shot is, so uh, I play my game and they all look up to me and they, they trust me to do what I do best and that's, that's shoot the ball. So, um, and they know I can get them open, I can give them the ball anytime they want. So they, that's, that's never a problem on our team. Saturday ends the stretch of a lot of games early in the season, start getting some practice time. How important will these next couple of be, weeks be with so much practice? Oh, oh for sure. Um, I think it's going to be very important. This is where this is where we get a lot of things in, you know, a lot of offense in, you know, just keep getting better and just becoming more closer as a team and staying together, you know. Um, this winter break, um, you know, last year, you know, we were in here every day, getting better, you know, working hard. So I think that's one of the great things it is about winter break is you get, you get more time 
you know, just working on your, your strategy and your team and just getting better. All right, you went through that growth process as a freshman. UNLV might have been your breakout game. With Io, is there anything you're saying to him as you go through a little bit of struggles and, and just any advice for him? Yeah, um, you know, I've talked, I've talked to him. Um, me and Coach have talked. You know, he, he's going, to, he's going through the same thing I went through last year. You know, um, um, trying to, trying to, you know, trying to figure it out at the, the college level. Um, but he, he's a great player. Um, no one doubt uh, he's going, he's going to figure it out. You know, we talk every day, and I know he has it in his, his, his heart that he, he's a winner. That's the thing I like about him. I know he's struggling right now offensively, but he's one of the great players on our team, and I know he can shoot the ball anytime. So I'm not really worried about that. He'll he'll figure it out. You keep putting that message out to fans. Stay with us. Uh, how important is that buy-in when you guys are going through this process? Oh, it's, it means a lot. You know, um, you know, um, I don't I don't want you know some of the young guys, new guys, you know, get the wrong message. Well, oh, we're losing. You know, no one's going to be at our games. Uh, people are going to be bashing us. You know, uh, I don't want to get that to the young guys' head. You know. Um, we have a, we have an unbelievable supportive um, cast here. Uh, but Line Nation is incredible, and um, and I, I always appreciate their support and all the games they come to, with packed and ready to go. You get any mojo from the from the volleyball team? Do you guys follow them? Do you get any excitement? Yeah, for sure. Um, we got the best volleyball team in the country, man. Um, it, they're they're incredible. We've been to a few games. Um, you know, coach coach preaches to us. You know, trying to get out there uh, when we can. So we try to you know uh, we're out out of practice. Try to get out there and watch them play. But um, other than that, um, they're incredible. There's been some teams who have maybe taken advantage of your youth and done things to kind of get you guys out of your system. Do you guys try to do that to UNLV and take some of the things that teams have done to you to, to do to them to get them out of their system? Yeah, our defense. Um, um, that's that's what our defense does. Um, it, it allows you not to run any any of your offense or any of your plays. You know, we and Scott we go through their their sets, but we know in our in our head like they're not running any of that. You know, um, and that's what we do. That's why. We, we turn other teams over so much because they can't run anything. So I think once we, we dial into that, um, the ball start going going in the other, other side for us. Thanks,